Award-winning chef Christina Tozzi revealed her secret to baking in a recent TED Talk. Now, as a kid, breaking the rules usually only got us in trouble, right? But as adults, it's a different story. Breaking the rules, pushing boundaries, challenging the norm, asking why, why not? It does something to us. It shakes us from sleepwalking. And it makes space for magic to sneak in. Yeah, and speaking of magic, Tozy is the owner of the famed Milk Bar. The national bakery chain is known for treats like the Naked Layer Cake, yeah. birthday truffles, and the compost cookie. Oh, we love it. Yeah. Fast Company just named it one of the world's most innovative companies for 2022. Tozy is also the host of the Netflix series Bake Squad, where expert bakers compete to create the next level desserts. Here, um, she is here with her new book, and it's Dessert Can Save the World. She writes about her path to success and how sweet treats can connect us all. Christina Tozzi is here. She joins us right now, first on CBS Mornings. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm so We're happy so to be here. with both of you and to feed you just a little dessert. Yes, thank okay, you. Now, before the responsible in. stuff yeah, happens Let's get today. to the interview first before we dive <laughs> in on the desserts. Now, your book is all about the power of dessert, and in it, you reveal your personal mantra, which is... Just bake the cake. You know, what, what are we waiting mean? for? It's a little bit of we put things off. We, we're waiting when it comes to dessert. We wait for the big moments, the big celebrations, the supposed to moments. And I'm just a believer in life of like, just start, start now. Do it just because. If you wait until things are perfect, till the supposed to, you've lost so many more opportunities to bring a moment, to spark something in a day, to bring goodness into the world. We yeah, just need more excuses. Well, you also <laughs> say dessert, face it, you said, nobody really needs dessert. I disagree with you about that. <laughs> but, you, but you said dessert just brings you such joy, and you believe dessert can change the world. And it's more than just the eggs, the flour, and the sugar. What do you mean by that? It's the spirit. It's the emotion. The title of the book is meant to be, the entire book is meant to be a rally call, a reminder of... But if we feel joy ourselves, we will give joy to others. It's the pay it forward mentality, right? Dessert, for me, baking, exploring creativity, creating something does something for me. The dessert connects me to who I'm baking for, who I feed, who I give it away to, the power that the dessert can do. Maybe it's for a bake sale, whatever it is. And those things, those tiny, small seeming things, they spark, they spark, they create, um, they create momentum, they spark a revolution, they have this power. But normally when we look at a cake, we go, that's for my birthday. Uh, yeah. I'm going to hold off one, one right. day every th so 365 true. days. I'm not okay Once with that. Once a year. I'm not okay with that. We need more of you it. You can have cake whenever you want. You can. So and true. dessert for me is the way that I do it. But dessert can also be a metaphor. Everyone has their version of dessert, their version of joy, of goodness that does these things. And we need more of that. Now, you have faced some hurdles. You write about not taking no for an answer. Yes. And, and you write about something called the milk bar sweat down. What is that? I like this. The milk bar sweat down. I was raised by these fierce, heroic matriarchs. And they were like, you be you. You're mm -hmm. going to show up in your Chuck Taylors. You're going to show, you show up as you are. Mm -hmm. People are going to judge you, but you want to know what? You don't conform to the mm. way people see you. You just keep on your path. You just bake the cake. You keep on your path. And when they start to tell you no or you're to this or not enough that or whatever it is, you just sweat them down. And you do that with a Ooh. smile and just every single day, just the relentless, you're going to be my partner in saying yes, you just don't know it yet. Ooh. And that's yeah. how I've grown Milk Bar sweat over the past down. 13, 14 years. I mean, no one thinks a bakery is supposed to be able to do these things or win these awards. And we like the underdog mentality. That's who we are. But in order to really get to where you need to go in life, you have to just be unrelenting in hearing the word no and figure out how to get someone's no into a yes. And when you, you look at down. no backwards, Christine, it's on. So I say game on. So you don't take no for an answer. Game on. That's okay. how you flip the script. That's how you flip the script, as the kids say. I like your last chapter, Milkshakes Can Perform Miracles. You said that was the hardest one to write. You tell a very sweet story about walking your dog butter, but you said, milk, what do you mean? Milkshakes are the, you, just say yes. What do you mean? Milkshakes are, milkshakes can perform miracles. Yes. There are so many stories within that, but it's basically the, this seemingly simple, you have something and you give it away to someone else yes. at a moment that is seemingly normal. It does something. Giving someone something that is yours 
away because they seem like they need it or they want it. That particular time. It, yeah. it connects you. This is this is the power of dessert in all of its wonder and glory. But specifically now when we're going, I need a miracle today to get through the day. I yeah. need a miracle to be able to see into well, the future. Reading your book, I'm such a, I'm so triggered by things. Nine o'clock at night, I was reading this. <laughs> I went to CVS, got some chocolate ice cream, made myself a milkshake. Please show the picture. I was so proud of myself. Come on, Gail. Made myself a milkshake, and and put a banana in it. Okay. Okay. Because it's responsible. And, and put Gail. a little caramel ice cream in it. Pure joy on Gail. So there you go. Yeah, that's you joy. innovate. I'm Nine o'clock at night, I did that, Christina. Look what you did. Come on, Christina. There's <laughs> so many sweet layers to this book. No pun intended. But what do you want people to take away? I want people to take away that to get to where you want to be in a day, in a moment, in your life, in your journey, you actually have everything you need in you. You just need more reminders of how to pull it out, that you are in control and you're in, in the driver's seat. You just have to sort of flip the script, ditch the recipe is one of the other chapters. And sweat them down. And sweat wait, them down wait, until right. you get to where wait, you wait, need wait. to be. Page 51, you give us moments, places we should go. Pete's Hamburgers in Wisconsin, I want to go there. And the Strawberry Donut Place, I want to go there. Glendora, too. California. Yes, All right. I want to go. Christina Tozzi, thank you so thank much you for Thank you, Christina. Us. Desserts Can Save the World goes on sale today uh, wherever uh, you'd like to buy your books. So go out and get one. <laughs>